just came back from my simulation this morning. It was at 9 a.m. And today we did like another practice cold, like a cold run through. And this time I was the one doing compressions on the mannequin because I still have yet to do a cold in real life. I mean, I know I'm not a nurse yet, but sometimes they let techs participate, but I haven't had that um, chance to do so yet. But I mean, hey, that's, that's kind of good. It's kind of good. So I showed you all the simulation lab. It resembles the hospital, like the nurses station and like hospital beds and how they like usually have all the beds with the nurses station centralized so that the nurses kind of peek on everybody. So that's kind of old fashioned now, but I like the old fashioned way a lot better. And then I went to class, obviously, <laughs> and we actually talked about the Redonda vault case. Y'all, that situation is so just so interesting. Just hearing about it. I don't know, what's y'all opinion on it? If y'all do have an opinion on it, because those, those details of that case is very like, it's just so crazy. And then the sentencing part, listen, I just like forgiveness, but <laughs> we had our take on that. So that was that, now I'm home. I'm about to get out of these clothes, shower, do another practice exam, find something to eat, and then kind of just chill out and vibe for the rest of the day. My nails are hot, man, so don't look at them, but they serve my purpose already. And I'm actually gonna start editing this video tomorrow or today, I don't know. Let's see how we feel. Weekend, I'm just, I'm just gonna work. <sighs> Gotta get me some more hours for the week. I don't have to, cause I already worked on Sunday, but I can probably go in on Saturday and Sunday again, just to go ahead and give me some more hours. So, yeah guys nothing nothing too crazy nothing i've still too been crazy. practicing some practice questions and then i went to my friend kishana's grad picture shoot yesterday which was tuesday and then i have one more grad shoot isis her shoot is this friday so it's full of events this week both of events i love going to people's grad shoots it's so fun i love seeing people take pictures especially when a photographer is very you know intuitive with different poses it goes from male photographers and all like knowing what poses you know are good options for your person who is in that candid shot is so important so it's so cool to see it <laughs> i be trying to make mental notes because when it comes to posing i'd be like Ugh, a little bit off i'm currently on module four we had 10 modules to do they were each 100 questions so 10 modules 100 questions so yeah, do the math, 100 times 10. And we have to do that before, I believe, the 20th or something of April. But I plan on knocking out these exams. I plan on knocking out these exams by this weekend or at the beginning of next week. I wanna get through our module 10 so that I could jump onto my U World schedule that is the one i feel like is really going to be fit for me i'm gonna do a self-assessment and they're really going to tell me what i really need to work on the most so this is just how the questions look i don't know if you all are familiar with evolve it's hesi evolve whatever and they give us like a couple of lessons sometimes the lessons have about 400 slides what i've been doing is taking the exam first seeing how I do and then going through the lesson so that I could take notes on what I did not know. I'm excited to just kind of get this completed and then focus on getting myself together with you world. So. <music> Don't laugh at me, y'all. Okay. So, on this one, I got a 68%, which is not bad. <laughs> that I did not go through the lesson first. So now I get to see my rationales and what test taking strategies I need to improve on. <laughs> Here, it shows like the rationale. It'll tell you what's correct, what's not correct and the correct answer, so. I'm going to review all of the rationales, make notes of it, that way I can remember it, and just get back to like 
it's all a part of like reviewing because some of these things I haven't touched in about two or three semesters so yeah that's the part of my study plan and that way I just keep looking over the rationales and looking at my reasoning so I could go about better ways to answer these questions hey guys so I'm on my way to Gordo's I'm on my way to Gordo's is it sorry I'm getting ready to head to Gordo's I'm meeting Isis there we're gonna have like a little girls outing it's pretty early in the day so hopefully they're not too crowded but that's where i'm off to got my little super girl woman shirt on i took my hair out super fast <laughs> and i still have to wash it but i haven't had the chance to do that yet so when i get that chance which is probably tomorrow it might be a tomorrow thing i'm gonna wash my hair and get back to my little natural tees because i couldn't do the wig for too long I, I gave it a week and some days <laughs> i could not do it for too long as far as school is going i do have a innovation project that's coming up it's from our leadership course and this is where they want us to be innovators nurse innovators and find problems in healthcare that we will see as nurses that could be you know fixed and I think it's a pretty cool project, but me starting it all is the issue. I haven't started yet and I got like two weeks because I wanna do a prototype and get it into like a physical form because we have to do a whole pitch. It's like a whole shark tank thing. So that's what's in the works of our current situation. Um, I'm definitely gonna show you guys Gordo's, you know, it's such a cute little vibe. If you're from Tallahassee, I'm pretty sure you know about it. I caught onto the Gordo's train pretty late. <laughs> Cause I really don't be caring to go places that much other than eating I just I don't know I'm just late I'm a late bloomer but I'm excited I'm gonna spend some time with my bestie and then I'll be back here tonight study and then I go to my leadership clinical tomorrow in the ED so yeah that's the plan that's the plan, y'all. That's the plan we on. All right? So I'll talk to you guys later. leadership hours and like I said before I'm not on leadership hours in the emergency department and I'm literally watching how the director of nursing took their role in nurse leadership and I get to see how she plans out interviews how she plans out shift load how she plans out you know just all of that it's a lot honestly it's probably a lot more than I even know but just from me watching her all the meetings she has to go to I get to get a taste of that like office feel behind the scenes type of vibe so right now I'm just about to get ready to just make some breakfast cook up some egg whites some toast and some sausage and call it a day and I gotta get in the road I gotta get on the road <laughs> it's gonna be like 10 minutes because I don't have time to be being late guys that's that's not the vibe we're trying to set <laughs> see y'all what's up guys so my hair has changed since you guys last seen me but anyways I'm on my way to school they actually told us that we are able to pick up our courts so our honors of distinctions whatever whatever stuff like that so that's what I'm about to do me and my little court <laughs> so I'm about to go pick that up now before class because they are handing us out it's 11 40 right now and class is at 12 30 so hopefully I get to like it's a smooth transition like go get it and go back and go to class because 
I'm kind of <laughs> moving a little slow. I kind of forgot about the cord, but I'm thankful. I'm thankful, so I will see you guys later. <laughs> Robin, I feel like she's summa cum laude. I'm only Magna, but so what? Robin's a little so smarty. What? Graduation is graduation, and that is Period. a honor, so Period. that's the whole thing. So the cord is secured. Ah. It's so hot out here, y'all. <laughs> I'm in the vlog, I'm sorry. <laughs> so we're vlogging in public, but I'm on my way to class now, and yeah, that's pretty much it for now. This morning, I'm actually on my way to FSU. They're hosting an event to award me with the Daisy Award as a nursing student. And I think this is kind of new, but Daisy Awards are usually given to nurses, like patients and, you know, whoever they kind of like elect that nurse and to get a recognition, whatever I heard it was. So it's kind of cool. I didn't know what it was at first. I did my research, but it's actually pretty well known. So I felt a little slow, but it's okay. It's always room for learning. So I'm on my way, my way there now. I pray I know where it, I'm going because the location, I've just never been to this part of campus. So we'll see, but I'll see you guys later. <laughs> So, oh my gosh, I don't even know where to start. <gasps> ah, being selected for this award. So this is the award. Okay, my nails are a mess. <laughs> they gave me a pin. You know, nurses love pins. So it's like, let's see if you can see it. It's a daisy pin, and it's highly recognizable in the nursing world. I actually learned a lot. Like the whole Daisy Foundation was in honor of. A patient. It was in honor of a patient. His name was his name is J. Patrick Barnes from when he was a patient and he died and I think I believe sometime in the nineties, but the foundation was created in nineteen ninety nine. So just honor nurses and just to, you know, put them on a pedestal that they deserve. So I literally kinda cried. <laughs> what I'm doing crying. I literally kinda cried because they tell you why you were given this award and why you were chosen by the faculty member or whoever chose you so i literally cried like it really showed me that i'm in this field for a reason it really showed me that i'm doing the right thing and it really showed me that i've been i've like my heart that i place into my actions and the care that i give people that i come across no matter what is like it pays off so i, I share this tear guys me crying in public I don't do that and I, I just I got really emotional because it really showed me how special I am in this field and it makes me excited to really get started after I graduate it just it just makes me excited so I ain't gonna cry I ain't gonna cry no more okay might cry to my parents that's it but <laughs> so that was that and I just think it was so beautiful being able to be honored this as a nursing student like because this is usually for nurses already in the field so me just starting off on the latter end of my academic undergrad journey in nursing receiving this award meant a lot to me and I just thank 
God, I thank God for the special professor who did this and multiple faculty members who, you know, co-signed on it. Like, I respect that. I appreciate that because y'all encouraged this little girl from Miami. Y'all encouraged me. Yeah, I encourage this first generation student. So like, I ain't gonna remember too much about it. <laughs> but I was super excited, super hyped. And I was able to network with a lot of the older alumni and I would love to be a part of the alumni group. Like this made me wanna join even more as a fresh new grad. You know, settled it into my career and everything, but I wanna be, I wanna do it now. I don't wanna have to wait until I'm older. Cause we do so much and network opportunities are immaculate so i'm done running on i'm about to go home gotta facetime my parents and show them and yeah yeah just so happy to share that with you guys i really had a great time so let me get on this road or this street and get back home so that i could prepare because i do have a shift tonight that i'm working uh did a shift last night and i'm working one more shift tonight then I'll be able to vibe and chill on my Sunday before we go back to school on Monday. All right, see you guys later. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna let this be the end of my, stop shaking. I'm gonna let this be the end of my vlog. Um, It's just a huge compiled, I don't know. It's a whole bunch of things that went on these past two weeks. I just decided to compile everything and I still have to wash my face off. You know, because even though it's like a little light, natural beat, I want to wipe this stuff off. But before I got comfortable, I did want to let y'all know that God would find his way. God would find a way. He would find a way to show you how special you are in times where you might not feel like you are or feel like you're not doing enough. God definitely finds ways to show you like, girl, let, let, let me remind you. you uh, okay, I had to show you a little something. So that award meant so much to me. <laughs> yeah, I can't get over it. So I'm floating on a little, a little high part of it. <laughs> but yeah, so as far as things that are coming up. So at this point, I still have to complete my innovation project. I have to work on that like this upcoming week for real, for real. Getting a prototype, drawing, sketching it out and everything. So that's one thing. I'm finishing up my leadership hours sometime this week. And then right after that, I have another nursing interview that's coming up and it took forever to hear back from them. Like they just move the way they move. So I ain't gonna say nothing much about it, but that would probably be when I do vlog again to see how I feel about it afterwards. Because yeah, I still need to upload my grad picture vlog. It's just that. <laughs> I was trying to wait on the professional pictures to come back. So that's like putting me to a halt and like waiting until the edits are done and everything. But it is like a behind the scenes type of vibe. So I don't mind uploading that sometime after this video. So stay tuned for that too. And then other than that, I purchased my graduation dress. I purchased my nursing pinning ceremony dress. We have to wear our white coat on top of it, but I still decided to purchase a dress that I wouldn't mind being seen in. I got my shoes for it. I still have your accessories. And then, where are we at? In about two more weeks, I'll be graduating from the Florida State University. I'll be graduating with my Bachelor's of Science in Nursing. About time. I am ready. And I also purchased U World. I'm really in the feel of that, and I would love to share how I feel U World helped prepare me for the NCLEX after I take the NCLEX because, oh wait, yeah. I'm still trying to see about registration for the NCLEX. So our school hasn't really spoken to us about that, but I believe that is coming up in a lecture, one of our leadership lectures this week. So that's gonna be great. And then from there, we just prepare to celebrate, graduate, study, and enjoy the last few memories I do will make and create up here at Florida State University and prepare to take the test prepare for employment and prepare for this new type of adulthood i feel like i'm about to step into because baby i'm about to step into it but other than that thank you all for tuning in i enjoy reporting my experiences these past couple of weeks in my last semester of nursing school and i'm excited to just keep showing y'all what's going on how is it going 
and i will see you guys later thank you all for tuning in do not forget to like comment and subscribe i enjoy this whole youtube journey it's just it's fun and it's something to do <laughs> but it's, it's so much fun i enjoy sharing it and i would love to just connect with more i enjoy seeing everyone else's experiences and their story so thank you guys for tuning in and i will catch you guys soon 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 mm -hmm.